And now, the big show.
welcome to the big show. You are in for a wonderful treat. This year's theme is Create Your Story, and we have had some amazing stories this school year, wouldn't you say? We have. <laughs> Absolutely. Some good, some funny, some we've called you about. You never know what's going on. <laughs> we love your children so much, and we hope you will absolutely enjoy tonight as much as we have enjoyed getting ready for it. I'd like to take just a minute and welcome some special people here tonight with us. Um, from our district office, we have with us Miss Patty Fox, and she's brought with her our favorite first-year teacher, C our Celeste, Rachel Celeste Robinson. Welcome. We also have Dr. Karen Andrews. And Mr. Bradley Wingate, who is our favorite fine arts director. Thank you for all that you do for our district office. I also want to thank this evening some of our sponsors that helped us this year purchase our first ever Big Show shirt. This is extra special for us this year because in addition to our students having the shirts for the Big Show, we are going to have on April 9th our first annual Arts Day at Stone Academy. These shows will encourage your, this, this event will encourage your students to wear the shirts to that as well. So a special thank you to Epson Plumley, of course, and my contacts are going to not work tonight. The Marchant Company, Carolina Brokers Insurance, you can definitely clap, LS Builders, and I know we have with us tonight Ackerman Consulting Engineers. Mr. Ackerman, would you stand and be recognized? He's a very important business person, but he is also very special because he is, you know, related to the Mrs. Ackerman, which makes him extra famous. So we're excited to have them with us tonight. I don't know what happened. I can't see him out there, so. All right, a quick reminder that we are videotaping this performance this evening. So you can put your phones down, your cameras down, and enjoy. We will be sending information about how to get your DVD in the coming weeks. A special thank you to Meredith Murray from our communications department. Meredith has videotaped our Big Show performance for years. He is so amazing to work with. He received our Heart of Stone Award last year. We love you, Meredith, and thank you for the work that you do for us. Another big reason I brought you out here, just keeping me straight. I also want to take a minute to recognize our PTA board with our president, Ms. Jessica Clements. If you will stand, if you currently serve on our PTA board. Our PTA does outstanding work. They have thrown some amazing spirit nights this year and outstanding um, booster thon, fun run, We've got more to come in the coming weeks, so thank you so much to our PTA. Also want to recognize our School Improvement Council members. Um, they are led by Mr. Josh Morris, who has a birthday today. If you will help us recognize our SIC board members at this time. And I would mention, you will begin to see some nomination forms for PTA board. We'll be talking about SIC membership. If that's something you feel that you're interested in participating in or running for, please fill out that nomination board form for the PTA, and we'll have more information about SIC in the coming weeks. So we really appreciate the volunteer work that both of those groups do for us here at Stone Academy. Do you have anything? All right. Next year you'll talk. <laughs> oh, I think she said she's going to sing. <laughs> she, she can whistle like the best. It's really good. All right, without further ado, there she is. See, she didn't give me a part again this year. So, Ms. Nicole Ackerman, thank you so much for coming. Okay, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about the show this year. I've been writing these shows for like 16, 17 years. This may be my 17th one. Um, and this year, I had help writing it. Um, your students, second grade through fifth, wrote small moment stories in my classroom. Um, the moments in their lives that changed them, that make them who they are. 
Um, and you would be surprised the gamut at this age that, that really does change them. Something as simple as getting a pet and something you know as detrimental as your family changing. Um, so I sifted through all of these stories and combined some of them and used them, some of them straight out. Um, and they're in this play. So some of y'all better watch out. Um, <laughs> because I know a little bit of dirt. No, I'm just kidding. Everything is very on the up and up. Um, so please look for that. Um, you'll also see in your program that it says scene one was inspired by this child and on and on. Um, but I did want to just give them a huge pat on the back. It's, it takes a lot of bravery to, to reveal your soul and then allow some woman to put it on stage. So that's kind of a big deal. All right, so now is my annual speech where I do tell you all the things that we would like you to do in the audience and not do in the audience, you know, those kind of things. We love it. Um, so without further ado... Hey, um, Miss Ackerman, why don't you let us handle this? Well, uh, do you have the book? Yes, ma'am. It's right here. A guidebook for people and parents who love us. Well, okay. So, Miss Ackerman, we got this. Of course they do. Page one, be mindful of those around you. What does that mean? Well, mindful means think, so I guess we think about them. Let's ask an expert. Yeah. Please don't put your feet on those in front of you. Um, thank you. If you're talking to a minimum, even whispering, because it will disturb people. Please keep your hands to yourself. Please don't make annoying sounds or you'll disrupt the show. Please don't bring toys to the show. They may distract others around you. Sense. Yeah. Page two. Take up some babies to the lobby. I wonder why they make why I wonder why they upset. I don't know, they're babies. What, what, now, why should we take crying babies to the lobby? Well, one, they could probably fuss and they could distract the actors. Two, people wouldn't like it. You should really take crying babies to the lobby because they can distract the actors and the audience. your friends and record a chess battle. No flash photography. Texting and photos don't make noise. What's up with that? Yeah. Please no flash photography because it will get in the audience members and the actors eyes. Please silence your phones because the actors can get distracted. You should hold your phone or iPad at chest level so people behind you can see. Please silence your phone. Nobody wants to hear your ringtone. Ooh, yeah, that's pretty important bone stuff. What's next in the guidebook? Page four. Leave your puppets and large hats at home. What? Who would bring that to the big show? If you, if you wear big hats to the show, the person behind you would be disturbed and they can't see the, the show because they want to see their children performing. Don't bring your puppet because it's really talkative. And while the play is going on, the puppet will talk a lot, so that's why. You should not wear big hats at the big show. Just because it sounds like it should be there, it shouldn't. Hats aren't helpful because the people behind you might not be able to see from the large hat you are wearing.
clap, clap until the conductor lowers her hands. Why is that? That's weird. I know, right? Wait, Miss Reed might have one more note, so be careful. Don't clap until she's finished. For example, if Miss Reed's hands, if the conductor's hands are up and up still, don't clap yet. Two is by her, by her body. Then clap your hands. Now. Or pets. That includes hey, you. That includes you. Do not bring pets because your pets don't want to be at the show. They're just gonna. They're just gonna sleep. Coco, I mean, drinks are not allowed because it's bad. It's bad because yeah, you might leave stuff on the ground and it's littering and yeah, that's bad for that's bad for Furman. Make sure you tell your kids good job for what they have done. <laughs> I love it when the audience laughs. Love is laughter and laughter is love. So show your love with laughter. teacher and to in, inform her that you're gonna go pick up your kid so she doesn't go looking for him or her. <clears throat> Number three, wait until Miss Reed says you can go. Make sure you're patient after this show.
Thank you, thank you. Very much. That was so good. All right, that is some very good, very good information from your children. That was, of course, your second and third grade children. Um, they had a very large part in creating it and coming up with what to say and what it means to them. Um, and they're going to show you a shining example of how to be a good audience member tonight. Um, so at this time, I would like for all of the alumni, student alumni, to stand right where you are. Make your knees move up. Good. Good. All right. And we're going to be singing a song that most Stone alumni know. If you've been to Stone in the last 10 years, you know it. Um, this has kind of become our mission statement. It's called The Artist Teaches Us All. Um, and it explains why we're not just creating musicians. We're not just creating actors and dancers and violinists. Um, we're creating better people. We're creating people that appreciate the world around them and understand the world around them better. Um, so without further ado, The Artist Teaches Us All. Thank you.
playing this game called Throw the Rock. And it was my turn, so I chucked the rock as far as I could and hit this guy walking near the swim center. I felt so bad. I started crying and I ran inside. My brother apologized to the man and ran after me. Wow, Macy, was the man hurt by the rock? No, ma'am, it wasn't a very big rock. Well, that's good. So, Macy's story is a great example of a memory that is a part of your personal story. How'd she share that with us? Sasha? With her mouth, I mean, she told us about it? Yes, she did. Could you tell your story a different way? I could write it down or draw it. You could sing it or dance it. Okay, you two. The possibilities are endless. And that is your assignment to recreate some of your story. Write down a paper first so you have a clear understanding of what you're trying to convey. Then find a way to share your story through music, dance, spoken word, technology, or visual arts. What if we think of another way? If you think of another way, I am open to those as well. I am so excited to hear your memories. Don't forget how that moment changed you. Oh, that's the bell. Car walkers, you may get your thing to go. Car riders, look for your names on the board. And bus drivers, you may get your thing to go as well. Have a great day. Don't forget your agendas.
the cover yonder had sent her over. The cover yonder had sent her over, and it won't go down. It won't go down. Did you ever hear that? Did you ever hear that? Did you ever hear that? Cook a bird call. Cook a bird call. Sure sign of red. Sign of red. I've been wondering. If everybody won. If everybody won. I've been wondering. If everybody won. If everybody won. If everybody won. About those people.
Yes, Mom, I know. No in-app purchases. Thank you for the download. Okay, let's check this out. Where should we start? So, my life, my story. What makes me me? Oh, I can think about sports stories. Hey, Banana Nose, can I borrow your tablet? No, Colin, I need it. Mom, Lucy isn't sharing. I said no, you little brat, maybe you're in my room. Ow, my arm is broken, Mom! Oh, little brothers are the worst. I know, I'll write about the worst day of my life when I became a big sister. For years, I told my parents that I was lonely and wanted someone to play with me all the time. Then one day, my parents surprised me and... Guess what? We're having a baby. Well, isn't that great news, honey? Yes, I think. I was kind of excited, but I was scared that no one would remember that I was there. But that did not happen. I will make sure they don't ignore me. I think it's time to decorate the walls. Lucy, what in the world? Big sisters don't act that way. Well, how do they act? I've never been a big sister. Finally, the big day came and my mom went to the hospital. I just stayed with my Papa Wayne and my grandma. Finally, they took me to the hospital. Tons of thoughts were racing through my mind, but were interrupted by a grouchy lady at a desk. Yes? Can I help you? My mommy just had a baby and I haven't seen her for five years. I was kind of scared and kind of excited and kind of grouchy, but that all changed when I got to hold him. I sat down and stretched out my arms and said, let me hold him, please. When they gave me Colin, it felt incredible. I thought to myself, wow, he held my finger. He's so small and little and also very cute, and his hair is so soft. Right then, I made a promise to call him that I will always be there for him and always protect him. No matter how annoying you are, it is my duty as a big sister. I do promise to keep you safe, always. Just stay away from my toys. My little brother has either been a burden on my shoulders or a fun-loving little guy. I can't imagine my life without him. Man, I hope he never sees this. Oh, my turn my first day of kindergarten, and my very first friend. The first day of school was exciting and scary. I was so nervous to finally be a kindergartner and go to a real school. I wanted to get Miss Bailey, but instead I got Miss Carver. At first I decided I wasn't gonna like her, but slowly I started to change. Would you like to join the reading circle? She is kind and encouraging, and that is how she changed my life. She helped me have the courage to find my first friend, Penny. When I saw her, I knew she had a warm red heart. I walked up to her. My heart was pounding, and I had a pit in my stomach. When I got to her, I said very fast, my name is Dot. Would you like to be my friend? Sure. My name is Penny. Why are you all alone? Let's go play. We played together a lot. I had my first friend. Let's be friends forever. Forever and ever. One day, Penny was sad. I have to move, Dot. My dad has a new job in California. Can you still go to school here? No, Dot. California is a long, long way away from here. She moved, and I was sad. But we would FaceTime each other. We're still buddies, and I'm going to visit her someday. And she's still my best friend. Well, my third best friend. I have done so many amazing things in my short life. It's hard to choose. OK, let's think. Oh, I know. Let's start out with a humble story full of sadness. Long ago, in a galaxy far, far away, in a planet known as Greenville, my parents said we were moving, and I was sort of happy because I hated our apartment. And I started at a new school, Stone Academy. Today's our first day. Come on, Chloe, and remember, we gotta ride the bus on the way home this afternoon. Are you sure about this? I've never ridden a bus 
before. No problem. I got this covered. I, ha I, I had a great day at school. When it was time to get on the bus, I made sure Chloe was on the bus too. Then I started to panic. I can't remember, remember where my new house is. Don't look at me. Hey Kyle, is this your house? I'm not sure, I think so. We got off the bus and we realized it was not our house. <laughs> Don't cry, Chloe. <laughs> A lady saw us and tried to help. We just moved to a new house and we weren't sure what house was ours. And now we'll be lost forever. <laughs> do you know what? Do you know your address? Yes, it's number twelve Cross Street. Cross Street? Your house is right around the corner. I'll watch you from here to make sure you get home safely. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. And that was the time I almost got lost forever also known as the crazy bus mishap. <laughs> that was so cool. It was like I was there. Yeah, but why were those moments important? Why are they part of our story? I don't remember what I had for breakfast this morning, but I don't think it has any big impact on me. My breakfast gave me, ha my breakfast gave me gas, so I had impact on carpool. Gross, Kyle! Well, my memory is when I first became a big sister. And mine is when I first felt independent and strong in the face of danger. Okay, so mine was my first teacher and my very first friend, so I guess the first of many. And first times help us prepare for challenges in the future. Okay, so chapter one. That's right, your story is made up of first times that prepare you for the future. The first time you rode a bike, it made you more courageous. The first time you saw a sunrise, it made you appreciate nature. The first time you ate a Brussels sprout, it made you want to, well, you found out that you didn't like them very much. The first time can, the begin can be the beginning of something big.
first time I hit a home run. I was eight. Our color was lime green and the other team was red. Ugh, this is not important. What is wrong with me? Lucy, it's okay to write about sports. They're a big part of your life. Yeah, but which story? Well, which moment changed you? You've always been so confident on the field. Think about a time when maybe you weren't. Oh, I got you. So I was sitting in the dugout when my coach said, Lucy, you're all dead. So I got the helmet and put it on my head. I walked out onto the field and got in my position. The pitcher threw the ball. I swung and, and I missed. But everyone was cheering my name. Lucy, Lucy, Lucy. So then I felt more confident. I got in my position again. The pitcher threw the ball. I swung and ping. I hit it, the ball took off flying, and I took off running. Keep going, Lucy! I made it back to home base. I went to the dugout, and everyone was patting my back. I won the game, and I got to keep the game ball. Best day ever. Let's show how well-rounded I am by shedding some light on my athletic side. So, it was the last minute of the game. I had the ball, and it was up to me to make the winning shot. I shot the ball in the air with great confidence. I did? Yes! And it flew through the air with such grace. It did? Yes! I don't think that's what happened. I think I choked. Kyle! Okay, believe it or not, I haven't always been very good under pressure, and I'm, I haven't been a child, child genius slash basketball superstar. Each time I would get, get up to take a shot, I would miss and miss over and over again. But then my mom said, Don't worry, someday you'll make a shot. Just keep at it. So I kept practicing and finally got really good, but only at my house when no people were around. Then my mom told me, You have to block all the other people out. Pretend it's just you and the ball. I finally made a free throw. We won the game. Afterward, we celebrated with a big basketball cake. There was also a rainbow. It was like a sign. Hey, Kyle, I didn't realize you were such a baller. What about you, Dot? Did you outrun the fastest kid in class or score the winning goal in soccer? No, my sport is theater. You see, I used to be really seem to get my line right. Follow Sacagawea. I mean me. No, I know the people's terrier. No, I know all territory there is. Oh. So I kept practicing. I said my line to anyone who would listen. I said it in the bathtub. I even said it to my dog. Everyone knew my line. Follow me. I know the people and the territory. The day of the performance arrived. I really felt like Sacagawea. I heard my cue and said my line. Follow me, I know the people and the territory. It was amazing! Being on stage and saying your lines is just like being on Broadway. Because whenever you say a line, you feel like a winner and the best of all time. And I know it may be a little nerve wracking in front of all those people, but like I said, after you say one line, you feel like a winner. come to life. I like making people laugh and think. So, chapter two. Good or bad, my ch past changed me. It is impossible to have a big experience and not be changed in some way. It changes the way you see the world. It changes your opinions and feelings. It even changes your hairstyle. Yeah, I learned that the hard way.
story. It's the happiest story of my entire life when I got my best friend, Buttercup. Oh, I love Buttercup. We were on our way to Atlanta when my dad told us. He wants to go see some dogs. Yes! Now, don't get too excited. We're just going to look. It's not like we're going to find a perfect dog on the first guy. In this big cage, all these puppies were inside. I felt excited, but also nervous. There was one puppy that we especially liked. I immediately fell in love with her. While my sisters and I were playing with her, I noticed my parents were having a serious conversation. Do you all like this dog? Yes! Do you want to get it? Yes! I pressed down into happy tears and ran to her. I had wanted my own dog for the longest time, and now I have one. I thought I could jump and go all the way to space. When we got home, she ran all around the house. She smelled a lot of stuff. She ran with my other dogs and almost got hit by a car. I caught her and brought her to my dad. She yipped and yelped. She's calmed down now. A bit, but to me she is still the new puppy. I love it when I get home and she's waiting for me there. I learned that dogs take a lot of work. Feed, bathe, brush, groom, take outside. I was seven years old at the time. What did I know about taking care of a dog? Dot, I love Buttercup now, but when I first met her, I was actually scared of her. What? I thought you were fearless. I like dogs now, but when I was little, we lived next door to two huge dogs named Rambo and Dabo, and they used to bark and snap at me and Colin each morning as we tried to get in the car. So we would stand the at the door and get ready for our morning escape. Ready, Colin? Ready. One, two, three, go! We ran as fast as we could past the snarling monsters. One day, I bet they'll jump the fence and eat us up. Don't be silly. I'm not scared. Get in the car. Jump, Colin. Ah, he almost got me. We went this every morning. It was very stressful. As I got older, I started noticing some things about dogs. They don't bark to be mean. They bark because they're afraid of trying to protect themselves. So whenever I saw the dogs, I would ask the owner if I could pet them, and the dogs were always nice. That is crazy, Lucy. I know. It's hard to believe that there was a time when I didn't like dogs. I know. You have six dogs now. Yep. Juju and Profit and Sugar and Cinnamon and... <sighs> Kyle, why don't you have any pets? You love animals. I had a pet once. Staring all day through the glass of a fish tank. Me and my sister loved that fish. She was the prettiest blue. Her fins were amazing like lace flowing into water. We called her Luna. It fits her. A beautiful name for a beautiful fish. Finally, we went to school, leaving the fish to wait. But when we got home, we found out that she didn't wait. Oh no, where's Luna? I don't know. I don't know what happened, but Luna was gone. I wasn't very happy. I remember it was really hard to keep the tears inside me. I was so sad I didn't get out of my room for dinner. I haven't owned a pet ever since. It just hurts too much. <laughs> when they go away. <laughs> oh, Kyle, I'm so sorry. I thought you didn't have any pets because you were allergic. I am. <laughs> Allergic to sorrow! <laughs> so, chapter three. Don't be afraid of a sad or scary memory. I've always wanted a dog. A big shaggy one. I would take him on walks and he would sleep in my bed. What would you name him? 
Gilbert. No, that's a cat name. Ben. What? You know, not all of what makes us who we are is sunshine and rainbows. Some of it's scary, or sad, or just downright weird. But that doesn't mean we should ignore it or forget it. Let it make you stronger and smarter. Use it. Don't lose it. <laughs>
project. Whatever. My story is just starting. Don't believe me? I check out my story on Instagram. What? No, thank you. You're too young for an Instagram account anyways. Kyle does have a point. It's missing something. Oh well, it's my turn. I have this great story about the time when I was on the news. For the wedding, my mom made me and my cousins Abby and Maddie flower girls. We had the most beautiful dresses. We went into the ladies room and twirled around until we fell down laughing. We went into the hallway when a news reporter came up to us. He asked us, So girls, since we're all here at your Aunt Danielle's wedding, I have a question for you. What is love? Love is when people love each other. Love is when people bond together. Love is love. Perfect. Wait, 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 wait. What was a reporter doing at a wedding? I don't know, but she was there. Is your aunt famous? No, she's just a regular person. No, it was just somebody, just some dude filming the wedding for your aunt. Sometimes we remember things one way, but in reality, it was a whole different way. No, it was a reporter. Whatever. Okay, so the cheese butter incident. Friend Lane's house, we were making a cake with their mom, Lolly. They usually had butter for the cake, right? Well, I was four at the time, and I thought butter, should, I thought butter was the cheese. So I took a big bite and said, this is a very salty, creamy cheese. <laughs> that is so dumb, Dot. Bless you, Kyle. You can't judge my memory. It's mine. But you could do any better. Is that a challenge? Yes. In fact, it is. Okay. Well, it's my turn now. So, the plot for the ball game. the moment and relive it from the inside. Technology can only take you so far. Your trial of flashback has come to an end. Good luck creating your story. Yeah, she's right. I need to tell my story my own way. Yes, I think I'm gonna create an operetta about my journey this far and where I made it. World domination! So, we're done working together? Yeah, I don't need you guys to tell my story. I'm gonna make a huge collage of my past, and I don't want anybody standing around judging me. Yeah, we probably should have wasted this much time already working with this stupid app. Oh well, I guess. But I thought you were part of my story. Our story isn't just the past, it's where the past leads us into the future. Well, folks, looks like 
there could be snow and sleet in store for the upstate. Make sure to bring in your plants and animals, and don't forget your coat and mints. Stay tuned to our morning broadcast for updates on closings and delays. Now here's Bob with sports. <laughs>
school because of giant icicles. You could put your eye out. Very dangerous. Doesn't really matter why, no school. And I could really use one more day to work on the paper that's due today. Now, just help us watch for Greenville on the new screen. Cherokee County Schools, Greenwood County Schools, Graham County Schools, Greenville County Schools! What's wrong? Well, I was going to go set, tell Lucy and Dot that school is out, but we got in a fight yesterday. Oh, about what? Which one of you is most annoying? No, not that. Um, well, we decided, we were working on a story projects, and we decided we didn't need each other anymore. Really? So, if your story was a book, it would only have one character, Kyle. You are so dumb. Stories are like small circles, with you in the middle. I <laughs> There is a... Um, so, I can't tell my, my story without you, but you can't tell your story without other people. It's not your story. It, it's about a people, or a family, or a community, or a school. It's never, there is a power in understanding your story, but more importantly, where your story fits in the larger circle of stories around you. Yeah, I know. I'm not even the star of my own life. Mine's just mixed in with everybody else's. Not mixed up, woven, on purpose. I can't tell my story without you and Chloe. Not the good parts, not the bad parts, not even the crazy parts. It's all woven together with you in the center moving the strings. Yeah, and it makes a big blanket of love. So cheesy, Chloe, but yes. You are the maker of your own destiny, Padawan. Do or do not, there is no try. You, 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 you. All right, stop, you weirdos. You're right. I know I am. You're definitely a weirdo. No, not that. I was go I'm going to go tell Lucy and Dot that I'm sorry. And otherwise, I'll be wasting a perfectly good snow day with you dorks. Oh, I was coming over to see you. Me too. Can you see that school is out? No school, no school. Yeah. We know. Look, guys, I'm sorry. Me too. I tried writing when I got home, but all my good stories had you two in them. Yeah, I can't tell my story without y'all. Mm-hmm. You guys make me look so good. I don't want to create my story without you guys. At the end of the day, despite where we've been, our story brings us to share this moment right here and right now. So, a day without school, what should we do first? Video games, fort building, movie watching. It would be so much cooler if it were snowing. Yeah.
we gonna make her dress? Snow angels, snow angels, snow angels. I this to my storybook. What a wonderful way to end it. End it? Our story is just beginning.
On behalf of all of the students and staff at Stone Academy, thank you so much for enjoying the big show with us. This show would not be possible without so many people, and I am so nervous about forgetting someone in particular. So, I'm hoping my, yep, my Cliff notes will follow me out here shortly. I first want to take a minute and thank, most importantly, and you help me thank them every day, but the children, they are a huge gift to us, so please help me give them one more big applause. I also want to take a minute and thank all of the teachers, the classroom teachers, our support teachers, everyone that's here. We have the best teachers and staff a school could ask for. And as you can imagine, putting on a production like this takes a lot of help from some really great friends. So help me thank again Jordan and Vashti and Mr. Kirkpatrick for supporting us. Also again, Mr. Murray and Mr. Foster um, making the video and the recordings happen. This idea starts really this time of year when we think about our school theme for next year and then our related arts teachers get to work. So they really start a year, they'll go back next week and start the ideas for next year's show. We couldn't do it without each and every one of them. So if you'll help me recognize them. First, the, the muscle and the logistics team. Please help me thank Jill Rohr. The splash of color to the set, our very own Eric Benjamin. I also want to take a minute to recognize our one of our new teachers to Stone Academy, a huge gift to us this year. He brings set design, Mr. Daryl Longenecker, for his extra help. Our fantastic choreography was coordinated by our very own Cindy Waddell. the storyline created by none other than the wonderful Miss Nicole Ackerman. They gave me a mic. She wants to keep going. I know. Also, I I'd like to recognize our music department, department Miss Emily Kirkpatrick. and Miss Jeannie Reed. And one more quick, okay. And one more quick thank you to another helper this year. We had Ann Lee Breeden helped us with play productions, so we got her a little something as well. No one announces dismissal better than Miss Reed, so I'm going to turn the microphone over to her. Thank you all so much for coming this evening.